After a long hard day at work, I like to bring my wheel trims in to uh, soak in the sink. Hello you absolute legends, welcome back to the channel. John here with this. It is one of the K11 Micras from the Coupland fleet. It's a one litre Nissan Micra K11 Vibe edition. And it was sold originally by Glyn Hopkin down in Essex. It's covered just over 24,000 miles and until it entered my ownership about a year ago, it'd been owned by the same lady uh, who had loved it and cherished it all its life. Um, um, it's come to Dad's today for a pre-MOT test check. Some people are like, why are you doing a pre-MOT test check on things? Take it to the MOT test centre and if it fails, you fix it and take it back. Or if it gets an advisory, then you get that sorted. Well, this one I'm quite precious about because it's never failed an MOT in its life and it's never had an advisory in its life either. So some pressure here for us to maintain that green streak on the MOT history. We'll get Dad to have a look around it, make sure it's okay. I have no concerns with it apart from a dead battery. We're gonna take it to Neil next week, but uh, first of all, let's get Dad to have a look at it, make sure it's okay. Good morning. Hello, matey load. Uh, it's time to pre-MOT the um, museum micro, I'm going to call it. Or should, I should call it the very good micro. Um, we're going to work on the car. It's been stood <laughs> in the collection for about, I don't know, nine months where it hasn't really been driven very far. Um, what's the plan for the pre-MOT? I'm going to bring that blinking fleece out again. That's what I'm going to do. It has turned a bit nippy. It's like flipping Siberia. Um, pop the battery on charge, I'm guessing, is the first port of call. I'm afraid so. Um, it's never failed an MOT or had an advisory in its life. So there is a little bit no of... No pressure then, A little bit of pressure riding on this. No. I've got the MOT booked for next Friday. So we've got, you know, sort of a week to, uh, to get going. Yes. Um, let's have a look at that battery. Is it coming up? Mm. I ain't even got it plugged in yet, so I don't think it will. <laughs> there you go. It's not going to come up. What's the what's your plan for pre-MOT on this one? Well, we'll do it wrong way round, won't we? Let's do the mechanical bits first. We'll have a look at the brakes, make sure they're not seized up. We can have a good look under the wheel arches, because it could have a broken spring easily. Yes. And uh, go from there. Okay, so lights last. We'll have to do it, just do it wrong way round, yep, shall we? Yeah, fair enough. So, uh, do you want to start at the front or the back? We'll start at the back, but first I'm going to start by getting some insulation on. I can't believe this, how cold it's turning. What have you found? It's not, it's not an MOT fail, but we need to do something about that. What's that? This blade has totally died. Oh, on the rear wiper? Yeah. Okay, we'll get a new rear wiper blade. Yeah. Good let, spot. It lets it down, mate. You've put its own little chart on the wall. <laughs> need to get this car up to speed. Blue Micra. Now we know we're serious. One of the first ports of call then is to blow the tyres up, make sure that they are inflated. And your tyre pressures are inside the door shut here. Um, it's, what, 2.3, which is 33 at the front and 29 at the back. 33, 29. How flat was it? Not a lot. 33 at the front. They're all about five pound down. This isn't really part of the MOT check, but it wants doing, doesn't it? Look in there. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the key access petrol filler on here. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, it needs a clean out there, but uh, take a look at that. <laughs> Don't leave your petrol cap dangling. Might damage your paintwork. Should click. Isn't that click? Oh, there's that click. Isn't that lovely? It's a lovely little click, that. You know what I'm going to do with that? I can tell I love this car. Why? Because I'm attentioning... I'm smothering it with love. And WD-40. Uh, love. It Let's needs, do the spare wheel while here. Love. It does need love. Here's a little Coupland top tip. Do not lift these, uh, what would you class it as? B boot finishers 
by, uh, by this side because it sort of pulls the clips off here. Always lift from the middle. Put some white gloves on when you touch on this in micro. What are you putting? Oh, you're putting WD-40 in the boot lid hinges. It's had a lot of oil on it in the past. You do love this car. Attention to detail. Look how beautiful that is. I know, it? it is nice. I don't think that spare wheel has ever been out of Well, it. I hope it has, so it'll have been serviced. <laughs> Look at that. It can stay there. Yeah, it can stay there. We're not taking that out no, of there. Oh, let it stay there. It's got bits of paper and stuff in there from when it was new, look. Has it? Can you see? Oh my goodness, it has. <laughs> Amazing. It's got the original Dunlop Sport 300E tyre. <laughs> Is it flat as a pancake? There's no wind in it. Oh, there will be in a minute. Well, I can put that back together now. More original stickers spotted. And some more. What's next? The best just to check the seat belts. I thought you wanted to do the mechanical stuff first. Yeah, I'm doing it before I get my hands dirty. Good idea. It's a bit dusty in here, isn't it? Nothing that a hoover out or a blow out with an air gun wouldn't sort. We'll do the electrics later. I've not looked in the glove box. Nothing. Would you shut that door to your side, please? Yeah. I'm just going to see it opens from the inside. The clock's wrong. Oh. oh, it's got a radio code. Has it? Yeah. We hmm. can't have done. It says it's a coded radio. Um, well, the battery has been totally flat. <laughs> yeah. And when I started it up this morning, the radio was on. Oh, it's probably never been activated or something. I thought it was always active. Oh, just Still. turn the radio on. Check that the radio should, then. You should leave the radio on, wouldn't you? No, twist. Oh, yeah, the radio's come on. Yeah. Leave it alone. You, you don't want to open the window? Just gently then. I'll do. There she goes. The window open and closes. Just be gently. Just be gentle with her. Just be gentle with her. I've noticed that the spare tyre has got pointy cap covers. Two of the tyres have got the pointy cap covers, which I think are the original covers. And two have got just standard ones. Dad, is I'm just going to look to see if we've got any. If he's got any pointy ones, I jolly well haven't. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It's worth a look, though, wasn't it? It was worth a look. I'll, have, I'll add that to my list of Nissan Micra collectibles. Oh yeah, that's one. You found one. We've not got two. We've got one. So we've now got three out of the four. I'll add that to my list of things I need to buy. Uh, I've just spotted something as I've gone to put them on. Yep. It's got Dunlop 300E tyres on all the way around the car. Right. Which is what the spare wheel is. So well, I'm thinking it's probably got the uh, original tyres on. Better them ripped off then. I'm thinking we should probably replace them. <laughs> yeah. Get some new tyres on it. Ah, there's two things blue and super reliable coming down the drive. <laughs> <laughs> but which is quicker? I do not know. Super reliable. No, it's... Ah, but yours is much newer, yeah. hence it's looking much better. <laughs> well, we've just had a cup of tea. What's the plan then? Because we don't seem to be doing much with this micro. I think the plan is we're going to get you to take your wheel trims off. Yeah. Put that there so when you, drop, them. when you drop it... Yeah. And then we'll look at the back. We'll look at the back first. That was more stressful than I wanted it to be, actually, because that was flexing. There is a knack to taking those off. Um, these black steelies could do with a little bit of a refurb. But this is all nicely greased. Now it looks like it should be delivering kebabs. 
<laughs> it's got hubcaps missing. Oh, I've disturbed one of the uh, inhabitants of the K11. So you're cracking the wheel nuts off. They strip fairly easy, these do. Are they quite tight? Yeah. Probably been buzz gunned on, have they? Oh, I think so. With those wheel trims off, it doesn't half make the wheels look small. Up she goes. Handbrake off. Yeah. Handbrake on. Handbrake off. Just press the foot brake, please. Ready? Yeah. And off. Let's just do the other side while I'm... You stay there. Off comes the wheel. Off comes the uh, brake drum cover. That looks lovely in there. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. That looks beautiful. Before we start doing any more work though, axle stands need to go in, remember, really important. The wheel cylinders aren't seized. No. You look okay. It's like new in there, isn't it? <laughs> it's not had, uh, had much uh, wear, has it? It's been repacking the hub bearings for some reason. He said these caps off to repack the old bearings. I don't know why, really. So you just spraying that off with brake cleaner. Yeah. I'm just going to clean this disgusting. I'm going to clean the hub. Yeah, there's no need for that. Don't forget to detail your hub. It's not so much that, but it's just grease running everywhere. Because it's, I should, I'm guessing. I'm not going to see. Can you see we had a pair of grips on there to take that off? Yeah. He's repacked them and it's. Right. Let's face it, I'm. It You're going to give it a clean off. It doesn't need repacking, does it? So the car's been looked after by the local mechanic down in Essex, old styly. It is, and he's. And he's, it's, uh, he's repacked the bearings. When you say repack the bearings, it's packed it full of grease. I should imagine he's took that cap off. You can see where he's had his grips on to take it off. Yeah. And uh, bunged it full of grease, I should think. What are you doing? I'm just going to have a look to see if it has been wedged full of grease. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> Put too much in. No end. Ah. It's just daubed it on the outside. But good. Good news. Is that factory markings on there? Yeah. So that's never been off, has it? For some it? reason, that's been bashed. Why? And why? That looks better now you've cleaned it off. Well, it's just it's not necessary, is it? It's a bloody mess, isn't it? You're cleaning off that hub as well. Yeah, it's all lathered in grease. Just doesn't look very nice, does it? Are we painting it? Do you want to, while we've got it off? We might as well while we're here. So this drum has been nicely cleaned off now. We're going to paint that while we're here. Uh, Dad's cleaning up his spirits. So I've got the jet wash out to clean that wheel. Just doing that edge first. Just spraying that uh, cover. Meanwhile, I've given the tire and the rim a good old uh, jet wash off. It's not perfect. It will need painting, um, but probably not something we're going to do today. I'm going to clean all this out under here with my jet wash. Yeah, Real good. low spray, so I'm not uh, getting all that paint dirty and blemished. What do you reckon? Should we then lanagard it or uh, tetra seal it? I'm, uh, I'm a, it needs something that doesn't take away from the finish of it. So I don't think it wants that black stuff. Clear lanagard. I think so. So actually it looked relatively clean under there until I got the jet wash in. Really gently, by the way, for anybody. Um, but uh, I've just given all that wheel arch, a good old jet wash out, all that crud from under there. It will be treated in the future. The last thing I want is for it to start rotting out that sill end. So that looks better than it did. Meanwhile, same again this side, off comes the wheel and I'm going to give that a good old clean. And it's pretty much looking the same under here to be honest with you. No major rot or issues there. The uh, hub could do with a good old clean off again. Um, 
We'll get that a jet wash, take a look at the brakes, but I'm going to clean that wheel. We're not just making it look beautiful, are we? We're checking the springs. How's the springs looking? Springy. Good, that's good news. Boringy. So the uh, cover's off this side. How's that brake looking? All right. This is all good. It's like new, mate. It is like new, isn't it? it look is. who else is here. It's the Nissan Micro Inspector. <laughs> the boss is here. I'm about to take her to work. Um, right, I'll take Mrs. John Cooper to work and then we'll crack on. Crack on, Gromit. Right, we've just had some dinner uh, and time to crack on a little bit. Crack on, Gromit. It's, uh, it's been raining, so... Uh, we, we, we don't want to get soaked, but also we've got this to do. Um, I'm going to jet wash the other side. Have you done the brakes while I've been out and about? Oh, I've been reading my book. So I'm going to jet wash out underneath this wheel arch like we've done the other side. Let's have a look at that now it's dried. But which it is much off. better. However, it needs some sort of protection. I'm going to get <laughs> some uh, rust protection on there. Wait, look at that, that hub. Look. Hang on a minute. I'm just admiring your clean hub. You didn't know us Lincolnshire chaps could read, did you? Hang on a minute, what's that? Well, it's got some pictures as well. Pictures? <laughs> it's my book. What's that book then? Nissan Motor Service Information and Specification. Yeah, but that's 2015. It doesn't have anything from the K11. It Mike jolly well in. does. Does it? It jolly You tell well. me then, what's it got in there? It's got all sorts of stuff. K11. Oh, cool. Tells you the tyre sizes and the nose weights and the payload and the clutch pedal free play and the wheel nut torques, tyre pressures, and on here it's the engine tuning data. How'd you get that book then? I was allocated it. <laughs> Did you self allocate that book no, when the garage just, closed down? No, they give you it to blooming well put in your toolbox so that. Tells good. you all about good stuff. Well, whilst you have a read of your book then. I've I'll, read um, my book. I wanted to see what the wheel nut torque was. I'll finish jet washing this. I can tell you how many clicks your handbrake should come up when we're finished. Oh, like good. I bet it won't need adjusting. Well, that's blowing some dirt out. And as you can see, that's uh, really cleaned that up nicely in there. Got rid of all that muck. Again, we're going to be protecting this side. That tyre is made in Great Britain. Meanwhile, we've decided that whilst we're here, <laughs> it would be silly not to paint the wheels. So we are just going to give that these here, a blast it off. says, made in Great Britain. There you go, so the car must be made in Great Britain then. In the old Sunderland. You've raised a valid point, but hey. the paintwork on here is the original Sunderland finished paint. Yeah. But they do quite let the car down a little bit, so I'm all up for giving them a blast over with a bit of paint. Somebody actually worked at the Sunderland plant. What's that? You want to take them to Sunderland to be refurbished? Yes. By mm. somebody that used to work at the plant? Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> the nearest we could get, isn't it? Can we just tidy in these up? It's a... I'll wipe it off that tyre in a minute. It's black anyway, you never know. That looks a bit better. On goes the painted hub. It's a shame it's raining now. I oh, know. You've put some copper grease on that spigot there. Tell, tell us about that. So stop the drum sticking on. And the wheel. That looks a bit better. After a long, hard day at work, I like to bring my wheel trims in to uh, soak in the sink. There are ways of telling if Mrs. John Cookland is at work. Uh, this is one of them. On goes this wheel, and then I can pop the uh, wheel trim back on. Now the wheel trims have come up nice there. This wheel's drying. Now, I've just put the handbrake on, which was five clicks. Go on then, tell me, how many does the book say? I could probably do six. Oh no, 11 to 12. Oh, well I've only been uh, slight with me pulling it on whilst it's on the uh, <coughs> stands. 11 to 12 clicks. That's what it says. That oh. looks a little bit better. There is a scuff on this wheel trim that's been touched up in the past. Um, I've got the part number of these now, so I'm gonna try and source some new ones. What are you putting on there? Tire shine. 
Looking good. On goes this wheel. That looks much better now it's been painted, doesn't it? Excellent. What's the torque settings on these? On the flipping board, go have a look. <laughs> I've come to have a look. It's 98 to 118 newts. Right, the back wheels have been torqued. Uh, now to put this trim on. I must say, mate, you've done a jolly good job of that. An old chap who was, I was his apprentice at once time, all about stuff, he says, some folks, look at there. Fly past. <laughs> some folks had polished cars with bloody copper slip. Yes. Liberal copper slip application. Yeah. Some folks. Now I need that for me front wheel trims. Some folks would bloody polish. Or are we bringing it in from the rain? Well, I ain't going to work out in the rain anymore. Let's bring it in from the rain. Do you know what? I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with how that's turned out. Just uh, before we bring it in here, we're just going to jet wash these wheel arches out outside, and then we can look at the front. Right, that's jet washed all the uh, wheel arches out on the front. And you can see there, that's looking much better, this side. And apart from a cobweb that's held on this side, looking good. Well, now we won't have to work in the rain. No. The because the car is wet. in the garage. Wet through, it's in the garage. It's wet through, it'll dry out and it'll dry out and look terrible. But um, it's in the garage. What's the plan? Check the lights. Check the lights? Yeah, let's get the lights checked and just do the bits and pieces. Yeah, if you open the window, I'll tell you what to do. Okie dokie. So don't do it, don't think for yourself. I will not think for myself. One moment, let me get in. And open the window so you can hear me. Right, take hold of the steering wheel and do that with it. Top and bottom. Top and bottom, there, yeah, lovely. All yeah. good. Yeah, pump the foot brake out and exhaust the servo, then put your foot on the brake. Foot's on the brake. Start the engine and your foot should go down. Yep. Lovely. Next. Right. Put the hazard lights on and make sure you've got a warning light. Hazard yeah, lights are on. You've got no warning lights on the dash. Got two warning lights on the dash. The switch That'll doesn't do. light up. Okie dokie. Listen to me. Side lights. Yeah, dip beam. Yeah, try the mat. Dip, dip beam. Try the adjuster. Both of them adjusting. Yeah, that works. Main beam. Indicate left. Indicate right. Washers and wipers. Washers. Stood in front of the camera. Washers and wipers, Gromit. Yeah, lovely. Rocky cokey cokey. Hooter. Oh, there's a rear one as well. Shall I test that? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's not part of the test, but I'm pleased to see it. Rightio. Next. Brake off. Fog. Have you got, have you got a warning light? Yeah. Good. Indicate right. Indicate left. Brake lights. Right, just try the reverse light while you're there. Not part of the test. Not on one as old as this, no. So all the electrics work. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the seat belts earlier. We're happy with that, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll Hang turn on, stay her there. Off. Don't turn the engine off. Oh, don't turn her off. No. Foot brake on. Foot brakes on. I'm making sure the brake pipes aren't leaking. Yep. Off. Wiggle the steering, I'm looking for stuff moving about. Okay, mate. Is there any free play on the clutch while we're servicing it? Okay. Lovely. Switch her off, son. That's it, mate. Put Super the handbrake on, won't you? Sorry? Put the handbrake on, won't you? Handbrakes on. Yeah. Let's do the front, eh? Yeah. I'm sort of half servicing it as well. No, good idea. As I say, you haven't seen this car yet. So the clutch is manually adjusted, look, you see. Ah, I see. So there is a little bit of a play there. Yeah, good. That's what I was looking for. Just look in. Let's look in, Gromit. 
sure the battery's not falling off. That's a file if it's falling off. Looking for fuel leaks. Yep. Looking Fine. For, making sure there's no spiders get damaged. Well, there are spiders in there. But those spiders are, are living there, so you can't uh, you can't evict them. Check the brake fluid level, power steering fluid level. Looks good. Marvellous. Are you happy? I'm blinking over the blinking moon. You've topped the washer bottle up. Did it need much? No. And whilst you've done that, I've been in the kitchen and uh, cleaned the washer bottle cap. Um, pointless, Bull really. Bullshit. But also needed doing. Bullshit. Excuse me, can you not be so noisy, please, in the workshop? It's, uh, it's a day of rest. <laughs> I'm going to take these hub caps off and give them a clean as well. There we go. Two of the sink. So the wheel looks to be cracked off. Then we'll jack the front up and uh, check out the brakes this side. Those wheel trims are drying out. What are you doing? What have you found? I'm taking these wheels off so somebody can go wash them off. Yep, I'll head then out we, into the rain. Then we can and get them drying. Jet wash them off. Let's have a look at these brakes. That caliper looks okay, doesn't it? It looks relatively. Yeah, I'm just going to give it a blast off with brake cleaner nice and then. Looking yeah, good, good, and the other side's looking nice too. Fine. George the flipping grease slatherer. What have you seen under there? It's got new discs and pads and calipers on it. Yeah, I, I think it did have new sort of discs and pads added when I bought it. Brake they, fit. Oh, they're not Nissan ones? No. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder why somebody replaced the calipers. It'd be all seized up, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. That's a shame. It hasn't got the original calipers on, but also it's made it usable, hasn't it? So the front wheels are now drying off. Uh -huh. We spotted behind this wheel arch some dirt and some moss. You're having a peek in there. How bad is it? Moss. <laughs> We're just cleaning it out, getting all the uh, dirt from... Oh! Oh, you don't want that in your micro. Ugh. Is it mud? Yes. What do you suggest? We leave them screws out. Yeah. We put its wheels back on after we've finished tinkering. And we... Wheel it out and give that a gentle wash out with the hose. Hose pipe, not, not a jet wash. Good idea. Do the other side while we're at it. Yeah. Leaving that in there would eventually, obviously, cause it to uh, mm. corrode away, so... How has that moss and mud got in there? It's just flicked up from... I think the spider's carried it in. <laughs> I don't feel like taking all that trim out because there's a chance you can mark the wing. Yes. So we'll just leave that like that. And just hose it out. I've cleaned all this off. I've put some copper slip just on the spigot. Yep. I've looked at the spring. I've looked at everything else. The spring looks original. It is, mate. It's got them blue and red markings on there. Jeez. Good. We've got to dry them wheels, paint the wheels, put the wheels back on. That uh, that squad that's in that wheel arch. Yeah. It's from down south. Yeah. I, I hope it doesn't carry any contaminants, which might <laughs> damage. Uh, what's there? Our uh, local flora, ecosystem. Uh, yeah. Flora and fauna. Flora and fauna. It's like when you go into New Zealand. <laughs> clean you, your boots. You have to clean your boots. Should have stopped at Peterborough. Yeah and eradicated spiders and moss. Yeah. And this says Nissan. It's piddling with rain. Just to let you know. Is it? This caliper. Yeah, but then have a good read on it. Read it with your eyes. Has it got brake tech or something? Lucas Nissan. Oh, didn't it say brake tech on it? No. Well, you look at the side then. I will do in a minute when you've got that out. I want to look at your moss. Well, I'm not going to be able to take that off. Oh, um. uh -huh. oh, there's slugs in here, but no. I, bet, I bet they're Lincolnshire slugs. <laughs> that all needs washing out as well. Look at all slugs. That. Good, good job we spotted that. You've given them a spray, the front wheels, they're coming up all right. I hope that extension lead is not going to blow all the electrics. Oh yeah, that would be bad news. For anyone that always comments, it's always lovely and sunny when you're working on the cars. Take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's not lovely and sunny today, it's hence we're in the workshop. Big. 
They they look good now you've refurbed them. Yeah. That looks top it's banana. Up, it? <whistles> My micro's getting wet. Oh dear. You're talking tosh. What's it like under there? Is it all right? I can't see because I ain't got a light, but if you pass me a light, I'll have a shift in. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, it's not like a car as old as this, you know. It could be a lot worse. It's, well, it's, a, it's very, very, very good, isn't it, mate? The ice cream man's trying hard, isn't he? <laughs> He's not going to sell many ice creams today. Uh, the wheels are being talked up, wheel trims can go back on, and uh, that will conclude our pre-MOT. We've noticed a very small crack on the wheel trim here, and uh, we're just going to bond that and repair it with a bit of uh, donor plastic and some glue. So I've just cleaned and hose-piped out these uh, sill covers. Not wasting your time there then, mate! <laughs> Coupland catchphrase. So we're not wasting our time. Here's all the gunk that came out this side too. Not wasting our time. Just talk us through that plastic repair that you've done. What have you done to replace that wheel trim or repair that wheel I'll trim? Just put some on that crack. Just with some bonding stuff. There's so there's, so that's where the crack was. You've put some like brown plastic on there and some weight on there. Yeah, that weight's holding it together. Yep, because it's flexing it. And is that pipe weld, is it? Yeah, it is. Ah. We'll see if it works. I'll do the trick. Well, that's not been a bad afternoon's work. What do you reckon? You said to me, we should only be doing it for an hour. Yeah, we've been doing this for about five or six hours now. Probably a bit longer. You said to me, it's an hour's work. MOT prep, happy? Yes, it, it is. It's, it's all right. It's going to ace an MOT, isn't it? Fingers crossed, unless something happens between now and... Just go wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> that was... I've jinxed it now, haven't I? Well, that's being polite about it. <laughs> um, I'm afraid. So, MOT, this coming... Uh, well, no, we've got a week and a bit, haven't we? A week and a, a, week and a bit until the MOT. Uh, you're going to get the battery on charge, or keep the battery on charge overnight, and then tomorrow I'm going to take the car home. I'm not taking it home in the rain, considering we've just washed all the underside out. That's the last thing I'm going to be doing. Do you want to get them covered in white sand and dust? Yeah, well, you can wheel it outside, can't you? Good. MOT prep, done. Well, there you have it then, MOT prep done and dusted. And actually, it turned into more than MOT prep. It turned into, I don't know, concourse winning prep. <laughs> um, we've obviously washed all the back out. We've cleaned those drums, we've painted those, we've painted the wheels as well. And I've given the wheel trims a bit of a clean. Next port of call is obviously to clean the car and to clean the engine bay after I've taken it for an MOT. Dad's confident it will be a flying pass. Fingers crossed for that. Like I've probably just jinxed, now something crazy is gonna go wrong on the day. I'm gonna keep this little car, I've decided. I think I've decided that today, because the plan was to MOT it and then sell it. However, find me another one. And that's the problem. I'm gonna put it in the collection and I'm gonna enjoy it. Gonna get it perfect, I think and take it to a few shows. Next then will be the MOT day. If you've enjoyed this video, thumbs up please, if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would really help the channel. Comment down below, what do you reckon? MOT pass? Am I wasting my time keeping it in the collection? Or is it something that's gonna be a future classic and worth holding on to? I'm in love with this little car. Till next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.